So here we are once again. Or whatever. Uh, we are live once more at the, the world dome thing. Fuck. I don't know what I'd call it, but we are live yet again, and it is time for a crack of tea. <sighs> and this time, as opposed to the last stream, which was earlier today, or, you know, er earlier today as of this stream and slash recording. Um... <sighs> So, there's that. <clears throat> uh, so, basically, uh, I am going to be uh, finishing the game. I uh, Granted, there are a lot of extra missions I can do uh, in all of the different uh, continents. But, ooh, I, I don't want <laughs> to, I just want to finish the game, I don't want to, like, complete it. Um, so basically, we're just going for Eggman Land at this point. <laughs> Welcome, John. Anyway, so, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, so we're going to finish Eggman Land, and uh, then I'll be done with this game forever. And I'm never going to play Sonic Unleashed on PS2 ever, ever again. Because I only wanted to play it on PS2 to see how it was, and I decided I wanted to stream it. Instead of playing the Wii version like a normal person. It's the PS2 version. <laughs> <laughs> So, we are going to make our way uh, through the game. We are starting at goddamn uh, Eggman Land, the, the first night mission. So the difference between this stream and last stream is I ate beforehand, and I didn't decide I wanted chips and salsa. So, uh, here we are, starting in the first night level of the game. Or the first night level of uh, Eggman Land. Uh, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go through them. We're just gonna have a merry old time making our way making our way in. I wonder what happened to Sonic. What the hell's in this door for me? Ah, points. Alright, so the difference between uh, Eggman Land in the 360 version and the PS3 version, and... The, and but, okay, the difference between the Xbox 360 PS3 version and the PS2 uh, Wii version is that you have to do all these battles. In the 360 and PS3 version, I'm pretty sure you could skip every single encounter as Werehog Sonic. But the other difference was that uh, it was a combo level. So, like, sometimes there was daytime shit and sometimes there was nighttime shit. So there's the deal there. Um, but on the bright side, there are tons of fucking rings. So if you're you're definitely gonna get the uh, S rank for rings. Oh, is that a god? Fucking Christ. Alright, so what was the point? Oh 
Did I just fucking walk off a cliff? Oh my god. Oh my god. I know exactly what I have to do now. Alright. Walking off a cliff aside, we're, we're, we're making our way through. <laughs> so if you're wondering why I'm not answering, John, it's because your reaction to this shit is fucking priceless. Fucking bees. Alrighty. Yep, so I'm not eat I'm not constantly eating through this entire stream because I actually made food for myself beforehand. So I won't be eating chips and salsa through I, I don't want to say dramatic cutscenes because they're not really dramatic. They're just kind of there. <laughs> oh yeah, and John, if you're wondering why uh, Sonic Team would have made this, uh, money. Because they know people are going to buy it. <laughs> so. And literally, their only excuse to make this part of the game is because the other half of the game is actually kind of decent. So everyone was like, oh, at least half the game is good, and then, you know, smart people were like, yeah, I'm still not buying the game, but people bought it anyway, and apparently it's, like, one of the best. But only, like, literally only a quarter of Sonic Unleashed is good. Because, like, fucking, okay, we'll say three, three-eighths of fucking Sonic Unleashed is good because half of the Wii PS2 daytime levels are good. Uh, all of the 360 daytime levels are good. Ah, oh, fuck. I missed that. All of the 360 daytime levels are great. And then none of the nighttime levels are good. There's just a lot wrong with this game. To be honest. Because if we're counting both versions as a whole, like, half of a quarter, like, fucking, like, literally, like, half of the fucking game. Okay, first of all, I actually like the game. So I have not just this version, but I have fucking all four versions. Okay, where the fuck do I go from here? Oh. That makes more sense. But fucking like... Yeah, I like the game, and yeah, I bought like all of the versions of the game, but that still does not excuse its flaws. That's like the fact that I have every Madden on GameCube, save for Madden 08. It's like, it's a fucking football game, but why do I have all of them? Fucking, I, I wanted to. Sometimes you just need Madden 2002 through, two, for, through Madden 08, and, you know, that's just what I'm trying to go for. Oh yeah, and they literally mention that, like, 
Sonic would have gone crazy, but he's so strong-willed that, like, he didn't, or whatever. So it's literally, like, out of the edge, the sequel. I actually feel bad, because I was going to actually play Shadow the Hedgehog on PS2. Because I have the GameCube version and the PS2 version, and generally... The PS2 versions of Sonic games are the worst versions. So the initial plan was that I was going to play Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, but I, I guess I decided that that wouldn't have been as fun for me. Well, the issue with, with Shadow the Hedgehog on PS2 is like... There's only so much you can make fun of. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't even realize that they called it Dark Gaia Force. Okay. Uh, let me just mention here that like <laughs> Dark Gaia Force is a bad thing and yet you're collecting it. The, the real question to me is, if Dark Guy of the Force is like this evil energy that you're using to power yourself up, is that the reason that you would have gone crazy had not you had a strong will or whatever the fuck? So here's level two of like seven. Because for some reason, Sega decided, oh, hey, so you know that thing that, uh... You know that thing that not a lot of people liked? Uh, how about we make it the majority of the final level, and then also give it to the boss? Because that'd be great. Because literally, there's like six to seven nighttime stages, which are like the worst ones. And then there's not, you know, there, there's not one but two bosses... And, and and I I would just like to mention that one of those bosses uh, is as the Werehog, so you actually have to uh, oh my god, are you fucking serious? As the Werehog, you're supposed to fight a fucking boss. God damn, what the fuck is this? You're supposed to fucking fight this boss. Okay, I'm getting a little bit tired of this part. Uh. Oh my god. And then, after you fight the goddamn boss, you, uh, you end up having to... Oh my god, and then it's another one. Like, as if one fucking section wasn't enough. Yeah, you have to fucking, like, fight a goddamn boss's werehog, and then you have to fight Dark Gaia, and Dark Gaia is, like, the final bad guy. Uh... They, they really did not do a lot of good shit in this game. Like, you know, fire wizards. Because, you know, that's like the best part of the game, right? Fire wizards. You know, because they decided, alright, we're going to have a wizard. And the wizard's deal is that he uh, is a tricky bitch. 
And then they were like, all right, well, what if we set them on fire? Like, fucking... The wizards were okay. I understand the wizards. The the super wizards were great, because they were like... Alright, well, what if the wizards were actually, like, fucking smart, and they... Didn't suck? Uh... And then they decided... What if we set the wizards on fire? Which is just the worst thing. I almost just slipped and died, because the PlayStation 2 has the fucking worst controls. Like, I'm convinced the PlayStation 2 has the worst controls for Sonic games. Oh, that's a light. And it killed me. Yeah, like, literally. I'm pretty sure that this game literally has the... the, the worst controls. Okay. You like, like, the Wii version had decent controls because it used the... <sighs> Alright, okay. The Wii version at least had decent controls because it used the, the GameCube controller as one of the options. Because it was like, I think it was Wiimote on its side. Yeah, it was Wiimote on its side, Wiimote and Nunchuck, Classic Controller, or GameCube Controller. Fucking Super Wizards can suck my goddamn ass. Yeah, so... The Classic Controller, the GameCube Controller, the Nunchuck, and the, the GameCube Controller are actually decent. Exclusively because... The Nintendo controllers have this nice little eight-way ridge system where if you hold something, like a button, if you hold a direction on the analog stick, you actually hold it in that direction, and there's no way it'll slip, right? Like, whatever direction you hold, there's no possible way you're going to drift off in a different direction than you intended. You are going perfectly straight. PS2 doesn't have that. Like, literally, there is no, like fucking, I don't know what the hell it's called, but there's no, like, ridge, uh, so you can, like, keep your fucking analog stick straight. It's perfectly circular, which in some aspects is better than the GameCube, because then you can actually, like, in, a, in, a, in an instance in which you're supposed to rotate the analog stick, it's actually better, but in an instance in which you're supposed to keep your analog stick in one place... It's worse. So, I mean, that's up for debate, but I don't like the PS2 controls as much. So fucking... The difference between fucking level 1 and level 2 is that level 2 I got an S rank. There is so much fucking wrong with this. <sighs> uh, fucking magic, I guess. Literally, the they don't explain why Sonic can be stretchy in this version. I literally, I don't know why. 
In in Sonic Unleashed, the Werehog has stretchy limbs, and I have no fucking clue as to why they just gave him stretchy limbs. Now, granted, they gave him decent level design to actually, like, you know, use that ability. But, like, he becomes a werewolf, he gets pissed off, and then in, like, the first area in the game, uh, he catches an ice cream. He just notices that he has that power. There's, like, no explanation as to why he has that power. He just does now. Fuck these bees. Fuck these bees, man. Yeah, you know, in case you want to get a BJ from that stretchy arm. But, like, the thing is, it's just his arms. It's not anything else. Like, like, I don't know why his it's just his arms. Like, you'd think it would be his whole body, I guess. Nope. It's, it's just his arms. And, like, I mean, I, I sort of understand, like, why it's just his arms. It'd be weird if his entire body was stretchy, but, like, there's no reason why he should be stretchy at all. He should just be super acrobatic. I don't know what kind of gameplay style they were hoping to find here, because it, like, there's sort of no reason why it should exist. Sega was just like, how the fuck do we design level, d does design levels for this asshole? I don't know, make him stretchy. Yeah, that's the thing, is, like, if this game, like, wasn't a fucking, like, you know, if, the, if this game was a train wreck, yeah, absolutely, this would fucking be hilarious. But, like, people love it. Like, this is renowned to be one of the better Sonic games out there, and I don't know why exactly, but whatever. People like it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock them for that. I understand why it has its fan base. And I mean, I guess you sort of have to understand that this came out when, like, Twilight was popular. So, Sega was like, oh, hey, that new hit book series Twilight came out. Fucking, let's make Sonic into a werewolf. And, like, you think I'm lying, but that's probably how it went. They were like, Twilight, we're going to make Sonic into a werewolf. Because that's hot, or whatever. I don't think that was the exact wording, but pretty damn close. And I mean, they're not wrong. T 
Okay, to be honest, I am playing the more garbage version. Whenever everyone talks about how good Sonic Unleashed is, they're always talking about the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions. Mainly the 360 version just because it runs better. Uh, but I'm not kidding when I do say people think this is like one of the best Sonic games. Not this version, mind you, but Sonic Unleashed as a whole, which is stupid because this is half of it. Now, see, I've played, by technicality, I've played and beaten both the Wii version and the Xbox 360 version. So, I can compare the two fairly well. I want to I want to see what reviews this game got because like All right, so it got a 60%, which is a D minus, which isn't saying much because actually a lot of a lot of Sonic games got worse. But uh, according to Google, 96% of the people that look it up like the game, so... Fucking... Uh, Google sucks. GameSpot gave it a 3.5. You know what? I Reading these reviews... A lot of these game review sites give it mixed reviews. Metacritic gave it a, a 60%. GameSpot gave it a 3.5. Uh, but fucking, like... Fucking... Uh, Eurogamer gave it a 3 out of 5. What did IGN give it? IGN gave it a 7.0. 7. Yeah, literally reviews are all over the board. Because a lot of them are like 60 out of 100. But then like Eurogamer, Eurogamer and uh, fucking Metacritic gave it the same. Uh, GameSpot gave it an, a 3, like a 30 out of 100. But then IGN gave it a 70 out of 100. And every review I've seen on Google gives it like about four stars so yeah but according to IGN that's a good game so I mean I don't know I mean I'm not gonna go ahead and say that this is like the perfect video game it's by it's far from it there are so many aspects of this game that I can nitpick about, but hey, I mean, I got this far. And and also, it's down to personal preference. Because obviously, 
reviews differ between Sonic fans and people who don't like Sonic, etc., etc., fucking ramble, ramble. Now, personally, as a Sonic fan, is this a good game? Sort of. I'm definitely not going to say it's a great game, but I'm not going to say it's a bad game. Uh, that was important. This is definitely the worst version of Sonic Unleashed. I will definitely say that. And I think that's the reason I decided to play it. Because in order from best to worst, and I'm not saying anything about the game as a whole now, but out of... out of from what I've played, I and, and from also what I've heard about, the best version of Sonic Unleashed is the 360 version. Uh, and then in second place would be the the PS3 version, because it's they're they're similar versions, but the difference is that the pre-rendered cutscenes don't run as well on the PS3 just because of processing power. Uh, and then the from what I remember then. After the PS3 and 360 versions is the Wii version, because the Wii version is this version, but it runs less good because it's on the Wii. Uh, yeah. Fucking, yeah, so Xbox 360 version is the best, the PS3 version is the second best. The Wii version is the third best because it's a completely different version, but it runs better on the Wii because it's the Wii. It also has more options for controlling, so you can actually, like, choose a controller to your play preference. And then the PS2 version is the worst version, which is the one I'm playing. Uh, the PS2 version is the worst version because it's running on inferior hardware, the controller's not that great. Uh, fucking... Yeah, there's a lot about this version that's bad. It also just doesn't look as good because, the, once again, the PS2 is inferior hardware. And, and like, you really think about it. If this game runs on the Wii, it could have ran on the GameCube. But the only reason I'm pretty sure they didn't give it a GameCube version was because... Why give it a GameCube version if you can use the GameCube controller on the Wii? That's literally it. Yeah, see, a lot of my nitpicks with this game in particular is because it's on the PS2. There are a lot of level design gripes that I have because the Wii version has worse level design. But I also, when I gripe about controls, I'm really griping more about the PS2 just because the PS2 has worse controls. Oh, that's just a save your hide thing. Alright. Alrighty. You know, I just realized... 
why did Eggman build his base perfectly so that Sonic could get through it? It's like Eggman was like, Sonic is never going to get through my base. I'm going to build it specifically so that he, in his normal form, can't get through. And then they were like, Muhahaha, I'm evil. And then he built it. Instead of building it because fucking Sonic or whatever, he built it specifically catered to the Werehog. And it's like, there's so much wrong with this. Why would you build it specifically catered to your enemy? There's just so much wrong with this. Yeah, right? Yeah. I'm building an evil lair. Must build a self-destruct button just in case. Yeah, I'm going to build an evil lair, and I'm going to build a self-destruct button outside so nobody can press it. It's just, like... Uh, Yeah, but Doofenshmirtz didn't come first. A lot of those tropes really came to be because of, like, fucking DC superheroes. Also, I would love to mention right now, right, that this could have been one gauntlet level, but I'm pretty sure the only reason that it isn't a gauntlet level is because the PS2 couldn't have rendered it all, <laughs> or the Wii couldn't have rendered it all, or whatever. Like, I'm pretty sure that's literally the only reason why this isn't one huge level and why it's just, like, six tiny levels. Though I also understand that it probably also was just six tiny levels... Because then you can actually like take a day, take oh take a break between. I think this is the final area of the the ending. Because it's his bottom level, so I I'm pretty sure that after this area is the the boss. secret item. I don't even think I got that in my first playthrough. But I got it on the PS2 version, which I'm never going to play again, so it doesn't... I don't understand why it matters. Also, you gotta love how Eggman decided to build cramped corridors. Ah, fucking fire wizards. Am I even able to fucking put them out? I bet I'm not. Alright. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, fuck off, fire wizards. Jesus. Uh. Alright, there we go. 
See, now I can get up here and fuck those guys up so they can stop fucking shooting at me. Yeah, fuck off, fire wizards. Nobody loves you. Take, just take a look at DeviantArt. Nobody loves you. Whenever I hear the battle theme, I always think of how to create your own Sonic fan character. Step one. Don't you draw a goddamn thing. At least not yet. First, take some official Sonic art, add some stripes, some hair, and voila! Your own, your own stolen, crappy, um, original fan character. Sexy piece of ass, isn't he? Well, he's about to get even sexier. Go log on to DeviantArt and request someone to draw your OC because you're because you're talentless, lazy. Your fan character is so great that they'll just have to take time out of their day to draw it for you. <laughs> and now giving your character a name. Sonic's a long lost brother, Sinos. It's Sonic spelled backwards. But that's cliche. <laughs> what about Zero? The artificial hedgehog made in Dr. Eggman's super secret underwater volcano lab in space! <laughs> it's just fucking. Fucking love Sonic shorts so much. First it was, uh. Hold on there, little buddy. It's great to watch something on Newgrounds that you like, but uploading it onto YouTube is... Or, or, uploading without the content creator's permission is no good. <laughs> it's just fucking, like, totally self-aware uh, self content creator shit. But, you know, it... it it's... <laughs> The, the best part about the uh, how to draw your own Sonic fan... Or how to make your own Sonic fan character is that it was made by Chakra X, the guy who made Nazo Unleashed. So, you know, there's that. Because it's like, when you think of, like, fan character, like, fan creation... You generally think of Nazo Unleashed. I don't know if Nazo is technically a fan character. If you well, I, he is a fan character, but I don't know who created him. I feel like Nazo was Chakra X's character, though. Which is funny because Nazo literally just means mystery in, J in Japanese. Because in in uh, in Japan, uh, Mega Man Two is called Mega Man Two Wily no Nazo, which I'm pretty sure just means the mystery of Doctor Wily. Uh, So, you know. There's that. Uh. I, I definitely liked Nazo Unleashed as a kid. Because it was definitely one of those, like... It was basically Dragon Ball Z, actually. <laughs> now that I think of it, yeah, it was it was basically fucking yeah. It, it it was it, it was it was Dragon Ball Z, but with Sonic. Because literally, what happens is there's this greater evil and fucking rivals 
form together to make an ultimate fucking good guy or whatever the fuck, so... But instead of Gogeta, it's, uh, it's Shattuck. And then they both go fucking Super Saiyan or whatever the fuck. Super Saiyan 2. Uh, and then their friends also help out. There was a lot about fucking Nazo Unleashed that was really funny. But, like... I liked it as a kid. It was, like, a lot, a lot of people like Nazo Unleashed, which is... Wonderful. Um, so, you know, there's that. Oh, my God. You know, because now that we're at the temple, uh, fucking... Yeah, now we've made our way to the Gaia Temple. But before we can restore the seven Chaos Emeralds... We have to fucking... Fight a fucking horde of enemies. The, uh, yeah. Chakra X did a lot of good shit. There were a lot of good, like, Sonic animators out there. But, like, especially fucking, like, Chakra X did a lot of good shit. Uh, General Cacti did a lot of good shit. I love how they give you all of these, like, rings, as if you're gonna need them. <sighs> Did I just S-rank almost all of the levels in fucking <laughs> Eggman Land? So today I learned that I am really good at the nighttime levels, <laughs> but not that great at the daytime levels. <laughs> yep, here we are. We're in the final, uh, yeah, that was it. Wow, okay. I felt like I remember that being longer. So I just realized, they easily could have done something with a Super Werehog, and they didn't. Is it fucking green or silver? Because, like, usually the last emerald is the silver emerald. But, like, they showed it and it looked green, and then it was silver, and then it was green again. So I have no idea, like... <laughs> what color was it? Not that it matters. We're fixing the continent. The continent of Eggman land. And see, that's what the temple looks like in the Xbox 360 version. 
But you actually got to step inside the goddamn temple for the final bite for the final bout. And then some battling happens. This is just cutscenes. Like, fucking, I don't even have to be here for this. getting all these text notifications that I'm not going to have class tomorrow because we're going to be snowed in. So, you know, we're almost at the, the end of the game and everyone's like, you know, final levels. We've made it. We restored the Chaos Emerald. And now, fucking, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so now that, uh, now that we've restored the Chaos Emerald, you know, we, we can't just get off that easy. We gotta fucking, fucking fall some feet. Also, I love that Robotnik built his base so low. Like, we're plummeting into the Earth's core. Alrighty, second to last boss. Ah, oh, his bullets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this boss is actually, you know, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure this boss actually gets hard. <laughs> oh, good. Rings that I can't see. You know, so now we're out of the, uh... Now that we're out of the the lab area, now we're in the Earth's core or whatever. Oh, 
Oh, so that's what those rings are for. Can't run from Jesus forever. Can't run from Jesus forever. All right, another refuel. I just missed some rings because I couldn't see him. Oh, I just realized that these are, like, smaller. And the best part about this bot, the egg, the egg dragoon boss, is that you can actually kill the egg dragoon without having to do a stupid quick time event at the very end. That's all I have to say, really. Because the deal, right, is that at least in this version, all right, quick time events are kept to a minimum. In the Xbox 360 version, quick time events are so fucking apparent. And that's how Eggman returned for fucking Sonic Colors. Oh yeah, because Dark Guy wasn't complete because Sonic had the rest of his energy. That explains a lot. Also, the MacGuffin is fucking Chip remembering how to 
not be useless at the very end of the game. And honestly, in a pretty interesting part of the game, all of the goddamn temples, like, rise from the fucking floor. So, like, the temples are rising from the, uh, from the, the, uh, from the, from the planet. So these sacred temples that have been protected for generations are now going to one part of the planet to make a fucking transformer. Because there's the temple from Eggman Land, and now all of the other temples join together to make basically a fucking robot, and that's awesome. And I, I think it's amazing that all of these temples can actually, like, fit together perfectly. They basically just made a fucking robot. And now Sonic is on a robot. So now instead of, in the 360 version, uh, you had to, you had to do a lot of interesting stuff in the 360 version. But in this version, welcome to Punch-Out! Yeah, this is literally just punch out. Uh-oh, I died once. Uh-oh, I have nine lives and I used one of them. my PS2 controller by doing this.
There we go. So now that we played a good old round of punch out. Now they have a good old bro hug about it. They, they're hugging it out. They had a good match. Uh, and now it's time for Sonic to break it up because we don't like PDA. According to our high school, public display of affection can lead to public rejection. So, uh, to stop this action of PDA, Sonic has to go fast to stop them from hugging because nobody wants that. Oops. I'm a little miffed that they made me use the triangle button, and I've never, I, I haven't used the triangle button in forever. Oh yeah. So in the 360 version, we actually have to chase after Dark Guy as the Colossus instead of playing a good old round of punch out. Uh, and then after uh, having a, a good old chase session, you do one of these sections, and you don't do them back to back. Which sucks, because doing them back to back is just way better. Because at least when you do them back to back, if you mess up, you can practice. And they are way less forgiving with the quick time in the 360 version. Like, personally, I think they executed the final boss way better in this version. Like, it doesn't mean it's, you know, it doesn't mean it's a bad final boss in the 360 version. I just think it was executed way better in the Wii and the PS2 version than in the 360 and PS3 versions. Also, if I am ever to stream the the better version it's going to be on ps3 uh but i gotta get better cables first or i gotta get a, a splitter that can get rid of the hd copyright protection on the ps3 because that's a thing that existed also eggman you forgot your robots in the center of the goddamn planet Just thought, thought you'd want to know. <laughs> Alrighty. And now we broke up the hug. Yay, we're doomed! Uh, 
I am going to say, they did a really good job of portraying all these different races. There's just one issue. They all speak English. <laughs> or Japanese. Or whatever language you said it to. Which is a little weird. Whatever. Yeah, this was 2008, so this is still when people were quoting fucking Invader Zim. <laughs> I think the, 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 the funniest shit, right, is watching this playthrough, but it's, oh, well, it was the Wii version. Oh my god. That's right. I forgot about this cutscene. So in um back in 2008 when this game was still relevant, uh There was a uh, a playthrough that was done by Ant Dude, uh, but Ant Dude back then was known as Sonic Dude 101. So I actually remember watching uh, Ant Dude play this game on the Wii, and during the cuts, during the last final cutscenes, uh, he was like, "Shut up, weird legs," and I was like, "Oh my god!" I, thinking back on it, I was like, "Why did he say that?" And now I'm like, "Oh yeah, because Amy has weird legs." Yeah, Ant Dude has changed. Yeah, these bosses are definitely different. So yeah, you need to attack all seven of his eyes. So you don't actually run out of rings in this battle. Which I think is interesting. I think that's a nice touch. Like, in, in th this is actually a nice battle to keep your rings in, but you do get... If you do get hit, you do lose your rings, which I think is weird. I would have almost rather that you, you lost your rings. Uh... So it's basically get rings, avoid attacks, dodge space rocks, fucking shoot their eye out. <laughs> It's 
it's kind of the mutual understanding is that like if you get hit with less than 10 rings you die but you're safe when you rush to attack so it's like well what's the deal there Man, I'm not doing so hot. They also rendered this boss kind of poorly. I don't know why that is. At least, at least Dark Guy isn't rendered as poorly as the, uh, the fucking, like, arm guy. Right, so now I gotta make sure that I don't, dip, like, that I get enough rings to, like, live, basically. Because now I'm halfway done. Yeah, I figured that would happen. So this is why it's good to have the extra um, extra lives, because they're there. Also, I wonder how much it sucks to ram your body into, like, basically a hell demon. Alright, I'm putting myself at great risk here, because I super fucked up.
So I didn't get a S rank on the final boss, but I'm almost done. So who gives a shit about an S rank when I can literally just replay this boss fight whenever the fuck I want? Oh. Neat. Starting from square one. Man, I'm sucking pretty hard. I'm also missing, like, all the rings. <laughs> Which is kind of the... The rings are, like, the point of this entire level. Oh, whenever he roars, you just automatically lose a ring. Which I suppose is kind of dumb, if you think about it. It's like, ooh, Sonic is scared. Why? Oh, you have to be at the right height, too. Oh, so you can, like, sit back and, like, get rings, or you can, like, go lower and get the, get the eye. Okay, that is actually clever design. It's like, you can go for rings, or you can go for the attack. It's, like, a little too low. This is a huge risk. Fucking hell. Fun fact, did you know that one of the guys from Bowling for Soup does this song?
You want to know what else Bowling for Soup did? The Phineas and Ferb theme. So next time you're thinking about Phineas and Ferb, think about a weird fucking seven-eyed dragon. It's 104 days of summer vacation, and school comes along just to end it. Oh shit. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Time to fucking do this whole boss fight over again because I had one ring at the very end. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting an S rank on this. But I sure as hell can try. At least I have 11 and not 0. Yeah, so I got the sixth eye, and I'm... Yep. Yeah. Nope. So I made it to the final phase. When the S rank was, like, gone. Oh my god, and I was on my last life, too. Alright.
and there we are. See the neat. Okay, during the final cutscenes here, just one an interesting like detail that is is between the versions here. In the Wii version uh, uh, and in the Xbox version, everything is different. In the Wii version, the planet actually stays whole. In the 360 version, the the planet stays apart for some reason. Like Eggman Land's co like continent part is gone. Like like it's just it stays up, as opposed to being put back in place at the end of the game. Charlie Brown. Yay. Yeah, for so, so for all one of you watching, and I'm sure the one of you is still John, uh, this is the end of the game, so if you want to leave, leave. This is pretty much just end credits and final words, so... You know, there are a lot of people who aren't really into that shit, so whatever. Like, literally, after, once this game finishes, I'm probably just gonna fucking cut the stream, uh, and... If I can take the game out of my PS2 forever, and then it'll sit on my shelf forever. It ends like it began. Sonic falls into fucking Apatos. You'd think if fucking Sonic got thrown out of the center of the planet, he would have landed somewhere other than the exact same place he landed the first time. And also, despite landing face first into dirt, he's completely clean. So then Sonic gets a bracelet that he never ever wears. Like, I think that's the funniest shit on all of this. First of all, 
They run on the fucking longest patch of land ever. And also, Sonic has a bracelet that he never ever wears from this point on. Like, the, the funniest shit about this is that, like, I'm sure in the event that there's, like, they, they, like, show Sonic's house or whatever, I'm sure there's, like, like, he has a collection of the, all of the fucking shit that he's gotten from the previous game, so I'm sure he has, like, Chip's bracelet and, like, the empty, like, Solaris flame shit for some reason, or he probably has, uh, he probably has, like, what else would he have? He'd probably have, like, the Robotnik decoy from Heroes as a punching bag. Uh, he probably has all the items for both Adventure 1 and 2. I'm trying to think of what else he'd have. He'd have some sort of gift from Yakker, from Colors. Like, he'd have a lot of shit. But, I mean, yeah. So, so final thoughts on the PS2 version of Unleashed? I mean, it's the Wii version of Unleashed, but with less controller options. And the controller is not that great. Like... For this game, anyway, the controls aren't great. Oh, the entire orchestra credits. I was like, that's a lot of violins. Yeah, holy shit, there was a lot of... There are a lot of instrumentalists here. So that's what that is. So, I was wondering what instrument is used in a lot of traditional Chinese music. It's a string instrument. And I know it's a string instrument just because of the way it's played. Like, it sounds like it's a string instrument, you know what I mean? 
uh, turns out it's called an Erhu. Like E E R H U. Interesting, and I never know that. But you know what? I'm gonna listen to it, and if it's the right instrument, I'll know what it's called. So yeah, final thoughts on this game. This game was all right. I, I definitely had my moments in which I did not like what I was playing. <laughs> like 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 I, it was a fun game. I uh, it, it definitely entertained me for the however many hours it took me to finish the game. Uh, is it worth playing again? Well, considering that I did, absolutely. Uh, but, like, if you are going to play it again, play the Wii version. Don't play the PS2 version. Like, if you're going to play... If you're going to play the Wii version over, play it on the Wii. Don't play the Wii version on the PS2. Because the PS2 is, you know, while the PS2 is a very good console, it is not worth it to play Sonic Unleashed on the PS2. Overall, though, I, I definitely enjoyed my time. It was a fun game. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun ratting on the game. But, like, most importantly, you know, it made, a f it made for a good series. So, as of now, I'm probably going to upload the, uh, the Unleashed streams. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, edit the new Super Mario Bros. Wii video that I was supposed to do, like, a couple weeks ago. And then I'm gonna uh, then I'm gonna have another Sonic related video series, uh, but instead of Unleashed, it's gonna be uh, it's going to be Sonic uh, Generations. And it's actually gonna be like a real series. Like there's just gonna be like ten minute parts and whatnot. Because it was recorded all at once. Uh, because we all got together and I uh, and I was like, let's record this all at once and I'll put it into parts. So they are going to be like 10 minute parts or like 15 minute parts or whatever. But, you know. Yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah, they're gonna be they're gonna be ten minute parts. So the only reason why this is going up as like five basically three hour parts as opposed to it being separated into a bunch of well, like 10 minute parts is because these are streams these are meant to be watched more often than not you know like if you're if you're here to watch a stream <laughs> absolutely you're gonna be here for hours and hours but like if you're here to uh, if you're here to like be entertained for like a little bit like yeah that's why i have like shorter let's plays yep endless possibility performed by jarrett reddick of bowling for soup so bowling for soup did the uh <laughs> did the music for this game thanks thanks a lot bowling for soup Yeah. 
And also I'm including the credits because the credits are the most important part. Without the credits, how will we know who made this game and who to pay for this game? Thanks, Sega. You did a thing. And then it's going to save to the PS2 memory card. And with that, I believe it kicks us right back to the title screen. Yep, it does. So it kicks us to the title screen, and then it'll be like... Fucking... Well, it won't let me skip these. Yeah, and then I believe it'll, yeah, it'll play the opening cutscene again. Because it's a video game, it has to play through the opening cutscene. And then if we start our finished game, because we did we did finish this save file. If if we uh, if we load up this save file, and I hate the fact that it gave me chip. Like I, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to, I would have like actually legitimately finished it. But yeah, so now if we go back to our save file, it's going to show the planet. And look at that. Uh, Eggman Land is back where it should be. The entire planet is whole again. Now, if this were the Xbox 360 version, for some reason, uh, the world won't be put back together again. But you know what? Whatever. Uh, See, so yeah, we're just going to return to the title screen. And I, I appreciate, for those who tuned in for any of the streams, I appreciate that you guys showed up. I appreciate that you guys watched for a little bit. Albeit only for like five minutes. Um, I feel like I got a lot of viewers who viewed for like two minutes and then left. Because they may have realized that this wasn't the version that they wanted to watch. Uh, but whatever. Uh, so with that, uh, after this uploads to YouTube, uh, it's going to be New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And then uh, Sonic Generations. Uh, and then I think... I think, I think I want to do Castlevania Symphony of the Night for my next one. It, that Now, that is subject to change, but I do really want to play that game. So it's either going to be... No, no, because after Sim, before Symphony of the Night, if I ever do it, I want to play through every Madden game on GameCube, just to show it off. So, yeah, with that... Uh, Thank you guys all for watching. Uh...